Hi there, it's Jeff, and welcome to those that are new to my channel and those that subscribe to me. Well, in this video today, I'm going to be having a look at this router lifter that I bought online. And this is basically to suit a router table and a trimmer style router. Now, it doesn't matter what brand it is, mine happens to be a Makita. And the trouble I have with this when it is in my router table is the base that comes with this. Uh, you, the, they go into here like that and this sort of uh, clip here, you can't really get a really good adjustment when you're trying to bring that router up and down for a precise uh, measurements, especially when you're doing rebates or something in your material and you've got to go to a certain specific depth that you really want. It's hard to get this up and down accurately. Well, the idea with this one here is that um, it mounts to underneath your router table with these four uh, rails and it comes with screws and you've got this uh, adjusting bolt which uh, this handle attaches to it from the top and then this allows the, the trimmer which is uh, mounted in here it actually just goes in there like that let's have a look like that you do up the grub screws and it holds into place um, and the idea is to turn this handle up and down to give you precise measurements. So uh, let's do this uh, install together. We'll actually review it as well when we do put it in. I want to see how accurate this thing is or how precise it can get, um, the quality of it. Just looking at it now before it's installed, it's not too bad. It's just uh, it's a China type of tool or well, device that's come from China. Uh, like I said online, I'll leave links to it uh, if anybody else is interested in uh, And the quality of it's not too bad. It's alloy. Yeah, the, the, the base frame of this is alloy with steel rails and bushes there for this to slide up and down and All the bolts are just mild steel as well So uh, it doesn't come with any instructions. So we're going to use some uh, basic uh, Basic ideas of what I've got to, to try and mount this anyway uh, from years of experience. So uh, we'll get on to making some sort of a template for this so I can transfer the, the marks of these mounting holes onto the top of my router table. That'll be the first step. Drilling through, mounting this on and then uh, mounting my trimmer and it's giving it a bit of a test run and so on. Uh, the hardest part's going to be lining this up to the center of uh, the main hole that's on my router table so uh, this will poke through in the center of my hole so we'll make up a little template i'll show you how i'm going to do that and let's get started okay the first thing i'm going to do is just get a bit of masking tape i'm going to put that uh, on just lightly on the table i've got to join a little bit together okay so something like that Okay, now I'm going to get my jig here and this tape I'm going to mount, just put it down onto my top of the holes here. Okay, so just keeping it as flat as I can as well. I'm just going to get a spike and I'm just going to spike the middle of those holes okay so that is basically going to be my template so I'm going to transfer this on a piece of six mil MDF board just as a what I'm going to use as a template Okay, what I've done next is uh, where those uh, Marks were that I've poked through with my spike on the masking tape and onto this I've drilled a five mil hole and That is to suit the threads that will thread into the shafts here. It's about five mil. So they all will fit I've also drilled a hole to clear my wind-up handle which in this hole here Next step now is to make sure it adapts to the um, lifter with the threads. And the way we're going to do that is just start off one. 
Yep. yep. And the easiest way is to just start them all, just lightly. Yep, so that looks like it's going to work. So if you get this, um, this, this is basically going to be my jig for drilling onto my router frame, or router base, sorry. You get this spot on, then the holes into your router base are going to be perfect as well. The handle now, make sure that lines up with the bolt. Okay, our next step now is to get a hole in the middle and basically this is going to be my jig when I transfer that onto my router table, but the hole in the center uh, where the, the router is positioned needs to line up with the center hole that's in my router table and the base plate of my router table, which I've used a 35mm um, Forstner bit. And to get the center of this, what I'm going to do is use a little V-groove cutter I'm going to mount that into my router and I'm going to literally use this uh, lifter and wind the trimmer up till the point of this just touches underneath and gives me uh, that, that center reference point. Then I will undo all this, turn it over and I will drill a hole using this Forstner bit and that should be the center hole that will line me up with the base plate of my router trimmer to transfer the, the holes on. Okay, our next step here is I've put that, that new template that I've just made with the mounting holes, with the center hole, I've lined that up with the center hole of my mounting plate that's on my router table. I've just put a clamp through it just to keep, help me keep it in place. Now with the same five mil drill bit that I drilled these uh, holes here for the screws to thread on, I'm just gonna uh, just drill into my um, mounting plate and that will give me the holes to mount this uh, router lifter on.
Okay, it's a good idea just to start all your threads first before you do them up. Instead of just tightening one fully up, it's best to sort of go right round. Once they're all done, okay. So far so good. And that's in. Now, if I've done this correctly, you will see my router bit that's in there going up. see I'm winding it up you can see how it works and it's probably about as high I'm gonna go anyway because the collar is pretty much level with my base plate the one thing I can't do with mine is actually uh, drive the router all the way up and change bits from the top um, because of this um, section here on my router it's the actual locking pin that locks the shaft when you want to change bits that's going to hit my base plate so um, unless I did a really big hole there to accommodate for that but I don't want to um, yeah I'm going to have to um, undo these threads and take out the router if I wanted to change bits while I have it in here but um, yeah, apart from that it works, so we'll test it out and uh, test it out, do a little bit of rebate on something and just see how accurate we can get it. Okay, I've set up my height gauge as you can see on a piece of uh, 3mm MDF. So this would simulate, for example, if I had to do a rebate and this had to fit inside onto that rebate. So now it's going to be a matter of adjusting this bit up and down it fits on top of it nicely so just spin that round and I'll go there and we'll, I can turn that now of course I better put this in position that I'm not going to knock my height gauge about it. Okay, this is the three mil piece that I had before. Yeah, and it's pretty good. Pretty good. I'll be happy with that. Well there you have it, that was a fairly simple um, upgrade to do to the router table, adding that lifter. Overall I'm pretty happy with the, the quality and the accuracy of uh, that lifter. It works quite well with this winder. Um, the only problem that you'll see um, with this is if you've got your fence and it comes quite close, it can hit, um, it can hit your fence. So. Um, you, you probably want to make sure that that's adjusted back if you do have to wind it up and down or you could just keep lifting this up and down in and out to adjust it but apart from that um, it works well um, I, apart, I know it didn't have any instructions to it or anything but I just used uh, some basic ideas just using a bit of masking tape as the template to get your holes you putting that on on some sort of substrate so you can drill through and have like a drilling jig to accurately drill through to your router base or base plate of your of your router table, um, and yeah, you can you can achieve quite accurate um, results, you know, especially using a height gauge like you saw in my video um, to adjust it up and down to suit your materials. If you've got to um, stick something into that rebate, but yeah, um, I'll leave links in my description if anybody's interested in in that same sort of thing. Uh, I'm not sponsored in any way by this uh, brand, by the way. Just um, yeah, I'll leave links in there. I did think about. Um, making my own type of router lifter device. Um, I have seen some videos on YouTube, but um, this thing was fairly cheap. It wasn't too, um, wasn't breaking the bank, you know, 
I bought it from Amazon, so it was pretty cheap, uh, even though it comes from China. So, yeah, happy days, happy with the build. That wraps up this video for today. Hopefully you liked it or you got something out of it, inspired you to do your own or, or um, add this sort of addition to your build. If you did uh, like it, press like, thumbs up, share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can keep up to date with my latest videos. And hopefully I will see you in one of my next videos.